Hey guys, today on the show I wanted to talk about cell phones and the sensors that they have inside them. It's remarkable just how many sensors can be packed into a smartphone, even an inexpensive cell phone. GPS, accelerometers, gyros, magnetometers, orientation, gravity, rotation, lighting, audio, proximities, pressure, temperature, time, date, humidity, all in this little phone. I wanted to show you an application that I run across. It's called Sensoduino and it's a free app that you can get online but it's cool because you can use the sensors all at the same time in your phone, send it through Bluetooth and record the data and save it for future use. I thought you might uh, enjoy watching this so let's get started with that. Sensoduino. <laughs> So the first thing I want to do is go into my Android settings and make sure that my Bluetooth is turned on. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch the Sensoduino here. And I don't have my GPS on, but uh, if you want to record the, that data, you need to turn that on ahead of time. We're just going to test it with a couple sensors here. Now, we need to go ahead and pair it up. And I'm going to pair it up with my Bluetooth in my computer here. So I'm going to demonstrate that. We're going to add a device here. And it's searching for the device. So I'm going to hit this button here and make this discoverable. Yes. And it should find it here. There it is. Steve's Android phone. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to give me a code. And I have to take that code and put it in this box to pair it. This is just ordinary pairing stuff, you know, for Bluetooth. If you've used Bluetooth before, you know how to do all this. Okay. If I've got the code right, it should connect. Mm -hmm. There it goes. And you can see down here where it's installing the devices. So we'll wait till that's finished before we continue so I don't mess anything up here. Okay, so the device is ready to use. I can go ahead and close this. And here it is here, and it's connected. I can right click on here and go to properties. And if I hit the services tab, it'll show me hopefully the service there it is right here this the serial port on com 9 and you can see senso duino bluetooth so remember com 9 we'll just hit ok on that okay let's put our attention here to the phone for just a moment this is a list of all the sensors that we can actually monitor now just because they're in this list doesn't mean that our phone necessarily supports it but if you had a, a phone with every single sensor, you know, you could do things, GPS, accelerometer, gyros, magnetometer, orientation, gravity, rotation, accelerometer, lighting, that would be how bright it is, the audio, which it's picking up from the speaker, the proximity, which is when you put your ear here, you know what? it knows that you're in range there's pressure sensor temperature humidity time and date so there's a ton of sensors on here and this phone doesn't have a ton of sensors on it but I'm just going to demonstrate with accelerometer because it does have that now if you have a sensor included and you click this first button and turn it on it will come on if you have the sensor but like GPS was off, so I can't select that, okay? But you can see I'm getting accelerometer readings right now. And if I move my phone around, you can see where it's changing. So the first button turns on that sensor. The second button sends it to the Bluetooth, and we can pick it up, and I'll show you in just a moment. 
And then the third little checkbox over here, if we turn that on, it actually records internally into the phone and saves it as a text file. But let's go ahead and start sending data through our Bluetooth. There it goes. Now we're going to come over here to our computer and I'm going to open up a terminal program and I'm just using Terra term for this. This is just a simple terminal um, serial port sniffer basically. There's tons of them out there but uh, this is the one I'm using. This one's free. And I'm going to select the serial and remember when we first connected it said we were on COM9 so I'm going to go to COM9 and say OK. And look at there, here comes the data flying through. Let's open this up bigger so you can see it. Now we can come to our terminal data here, our settings, and change it so it's more readable. We're receiving. We'll auto it and see if that helps. See now, now it puts it in a nice list for us. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So if we go with the font, we can just change the font size. We'll just go bold, 11 point. There we go. Okay, it's sending data, and if we hit this button right here, we can actually go to Preferences, and we can change the speed of any of the sensors. These are all the sensors. We're on accelerometer right here. If we click that, you can see it's sending every 100 milliseconds Let's slow that down to every 10 seconds. We'll go back here. Gives us a chance to look at our screen. So the numbers here are how many records have been made. And you can see another one just came through. And we're on 1,264. And it gives us the X, Y, Z coordinates of our accelerometer. Now, if we were to turn the accelerometer off for just a moment, let's uh, let's go up to our time and send that. We're going to speed that up just a minute by going to preferences, find our time, and we'll, it's about every second. Let's go a little bit faster. And you can see the time is coming through. Now you can do two, two at a time, three at a time, four at a time, however many you want. Let's add the accelerometer back into that. Now if you remember our accelerometer was set for every like one second I think is what we said. So there it is, it just popped in as our time is going past. And there it goes again. So if we move the phone, let's see. Tell you what, let's turn the uh, the time off, and let's speed this up. The accelerometer preferences, accelerometer. We'll go a little bit quicker here. And when I move the phone. You can see I'm getting different numbers. Let me let it settle. So this is pretty useful. I can see where if you turn the GPS on, you could have it, you know, record in a text file every few minutes. And then you could bring it back into a uh, Excel file and actually track your progress. And you could do a lot of different things with the data. I just thought this was a really neat program and it allowed you to use all your sensors. Now this is called Sensor Duino, I guess is what it's called. And it was made so that you could use it with our Duino project, but as you can see I'm using it with a laptop or a PC now, so you can uh, just do it like that. He's got a pretty good thorough page and I'll leave the link down below so you can go and see his um, samples and he even has a project of a pan and tilt setup that he did with the proximity. So if you're like me you like to play around with gadgets and your phone has a ton of sensors that you can access 
using the Sense Arduino program. And I'll leave the link down below for the Google Play. I forgot to mention, but there's a log feature as well in the Sense Arduino that allows you to log the data as a text file internally in the phone. And then later you can import it into like Excel or Word and make graphs and charts of your data. So play around with it. Let me know what you do with the data that you collect. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.